If you slay the princess, the video ends. Slay the princess. What did the princess do? Content warning, this is a horror game. It is not intended for all audiences. Please visit our website, blacktaffygames.com if you need a full list of content warnings. Slay the princess contains flickering image effects as well as parallax effect that on rare occasions has caused motion sickness in players. If either of these cause health issues for you, you can disable them in the game preferences. You all have been warned and no one told me this was a horror game. But here we go. Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings. There are no wrong decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginning. This is a love story. So, uh, if I slay the princess, the video ends, and it's a horror game, so... Ah... <laughs> uh. You know how much I love horror games, so new game, and let's begin chapter one. The hero and the princess. Hmm. Am I the hero? You're on a path in the woods. Oh, I don't have to read it. And okay. at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. It's like a visual novel, hey? Oh, wow, this is interesting. You're here to slay her. If you don't... It will be the end of the world. What? What did the princess do? Uh, oh, explore. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Explore. Have you considered me? that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she locked up? Explore. Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Uh, oh, wow. There's so many options. Wow, that's a lot of options. Oh, wow. Explore! Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. But maybe I am that nobody that wants the world I mean, to end. maybe some people do, like nihilists, or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those. Maybe I, I am very evil. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Uh, the end of the world, what are you I'm talking, talking about? about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. Oh, wow, that seems very selfish of you. You only care about the people. Hmm? If you don't tell me why she's dangerous, I'm not going to tell kill her. I'm guessing the narrator's going to be like, I told you, she's going to end the world. Do you have any evidence to back this up? Yes. Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. I don't know, but how can a princess locked away in a basement in the world? Oh wow, I get to go through everything here, huh? Don't linger on the specifics. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting. Mm, you see, you see, I don't. I have a little problem with narrator hiding some secrets from me you know i had that problem quite a bit in baldur's gate 3. you gotta tell me everything if you want me to trust you hmm? killing the princess seems kind of bad doesn't though it? doesn't it are you a monarchist is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller i'm just saying sensor. killing in general is anything, bad man just because i say i like this food doesn't mean i don't like that food i'm just saying Killing a princess is bad, and I think also killing other people is bad. I just think killing in general is bad. Okay? My god, I have so much to explore. Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's wow, locked I up? I appreciate hmm? the mental exercise we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Really? Let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Uh-huh, so what is it? What is it going to be? Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end. And there is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical... You know, this would have been a lot easier if you just come clean and explain everything to me instead of going, oh, curveballs after curveballs, you know? Less, of course. You do your... Slay her. Can someone else do this, huh? that were the case, but I don't make the rules. Oh, okay. I have to say, I'm surprised at your reluctance thus far. But unfortunately for the both of us, you're the only one who can... Like I said, I don't make the rules no matter how much I wish I did. Uh-huh, well, 
Uh, forget it. I'm not doing it. Are you serious? No, you have to Like do I said, come clean with me and I'll do it, you know? Do I get some sort of reward for... Uh, uh, turn around and leave. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? I don't know. We're just going to turn around and leave. Quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Oh, uh -huh. interesting. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation. I feel like the Stanley Parable made a lot of effect, different effect on player base for these type of games. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh -huh. That's strange. It looks like this path... Oh, wow! Also, looks like I have no choice but to go to the cabin! Ha <laughs> ha! convenient. Everything's back How on track. How convenient. Maybe the world you know, I don't like being manipulated, off. narrator. It makes me... Kind of pisses me off. Turn around again and leave You're again. Really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? I it's remarkably guess. selfish, if you ask me. Oh, shut and up! I don't want to hear that from you, Nerd. You, you seem to be selfish too and manipulative. Do job, everyone dies, like dies, dies, forever. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah, uh, good. Maybe everyone should die. It's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone for them. When I said everyone. I meant everyone. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty large group to just condemn to death over a single princess. Jeez, maybe I should just hurry up with the story, honestly. And last I checked, you're part of everyone. I don't care. So if you think about it, embrace nothingness. That Bring it on. Her is really in your best interests as well. I don't know. I. Oh wow. Okay. It's just... But fine. You oh, turn I do turn back. And trek back down the path you came. Uh huh. Oh, am I gonna see the cabin oh, again? Look at that. Uh -huh. Cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have okay. to say, fine, it fine, seems you like win, the narrator. universe itself is doing its best. To fine, fine. Okay, there is no fighting, is there? I have to go in the cabin, don't I? Fine. There's fine. always a choice. There's always a Let choice. You're not giving you me a choice, now. narrator. You're you are such a correct decision. Fucking hypocrite. You can't just go through with this and listen to him. She's a princess. We're supposed oh, to save Oh, this is the voice of the princess. hero. Let's not slay them. Oh, this is the voice of the hero. I see. Proceed in the cabin. I see. Okay, so there's two different voices. Voice of the hero and the narrator. Narrator. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. You know, I wish I could be a voice actor. Note. Is a plain it should wooden be, I should table. maybe try. Perched on that maybe I could read this. Is a you know, pristine blade. In my voice, the interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Mm. Please hire me, thank you. <laughs> the blade is your implement. <sighs> Anyways, you'll need it. Uh, I'll just enter the basement. Uh, no, who needs a knife, you know? Don't need a knife. You know, I'm a big, the strong the man. The basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light mm -hmm. in the room below. This okay, is an so, oppressive place. I'll let the narrator the finish. Heavy and is this challenge... Like, is it going to be hard for me to slay the princess, or is it super easy to slay the princess? I don't know which one this one is, because you know how some challenges are really hard to avoid, and some challenges are really easy to get. That's why I'm kind of confused for this one. Her voice softly <clears throat> carries okay. up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Yes, princess. It is I, the great hero. It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest oh, of your of life. Hero. Okay. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. I don't know, narrator. You've been kind of manipulative too, you a filthy hypocrite. Ah, uh, hi. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please, come downstairs. Sure, of course, princess. I am the great hero. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, oh, no, binding princess. her to the far wall. It seems like you are in great peril. <sighs> She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Okay, now, now, now. Remember not to judge a book by its cover, okay? Ah, <sighs> well, decisions, decisions. While well, the narrator is like, begging me to stay focused, there's a lot riding on me, huh? Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? <sighs> I don't know. Hold on. 
Let's talk a bit first. Okay. I am just very, very suspicious of everyone here. The narrator, the princess, and the, uh, the my own voice for some reason. Uh, I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. Yeah, well, reason. Please, give me a reason. I don't actually know what that reason is, but... You don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation. I was kind of hoping that you would have the explanation, princess. No? You have all the explanation you need. Ah, narrow. You should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. Uh-huh. Okay, sir, so, uh, sure. If I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? I don't see what that has to do with anything. Uh, that's pretty important, you know? If you're a normal human being, you would... Eat and drink, and if you don't eat and drink, your body kind of dies, you know? A, a severe condition of death. This is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. No, narrator, you, That's you hard dumb that. dumb. This is very important. Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? Yeah, what have you been eating? She has to eat, right? Uh-huh. Uh... I was sent to here to slay you. You're apparently supposed to end the world. Uh, but I wanted to see you for myself. I'm not sure what to believe. It, is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. Mm. Mm. I don't remember much mm. about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. Uh-huh. That's... How long has she been locked away? Yeah, how long has she been locked away for? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? Yeah, that's the thing. You know, that seems to be the detail that the narrator seems to uh, kind of be hiding away from me. You know? Yeah? I was hoping you'd tell me. I don't know how to destroy the world, if that's what you're getting at. Well, God, I have two manipulators in my side. The princess and the narrator. God. I believe her. And the voice of the hero, too. Just a very naive... Hero. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. Uh-huh. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Yeah, you're Whoever making it really hard for me to trust right me now. Hmm? Claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. I, that is true. I don't trust that. And I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. I don't want the voice so of the hero. You know, you stay out of this voice I of the hero, please. If I got out of here, me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. Do you really sure. think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, oh, you're it's very good with the words, I'll here. say. And mm -hmm. it's whoever sent you here. And those two groups are probably one and the same. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We mm -hmm. stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. Subjugating monarch. It seems like this narrator has some bias towards the monarch. Monarchy stuff, huh? Uh, what's your name? Oh. Do you not have a name? She pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. Hmm. You can address me as your royal highness, or you can just call me princess if your royal that highness. That doesn't answer my question, princess. princess. Her name or her title? What if it's both? Could you imagine being named princess, princess? Uh huh. So is princess your name, huh? You're really not going to tell me your name. Like I said, you can call me princess if, if you want like. us, princess, to go based on trust. And for something you've been talking about a lot, trust, you don't seem to be practicing that trust right now, princess. So it's hard for me to trust. I don't know what the hell I just said there. Whatever. I'm sorry. I've been down here so long, I guess I've just forgotten. Ah. I must have a name, though. Everyone has a name. You smell that, guys? Ah, smells like bullshit. Everyone okay, has a name. That's weird. And she hadn't even thought to pick a mm. name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her. Ah, 
I don't know, narrator is pretty manipulative, the princess seems to be hiding a lot of information, you know, trust is all about opening up. Sure, it's good to be cautious sometimes, but you know what? I won't kill you, but I can't just set you free, it's too risky. What if I stayed for a while and just kept you company, maybe then everyone could be happy! That seems like a pretty good compromise. Yeah, I don't want to hear your opinion, voice of the hero. I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. Well, you survive without Your water and food for a long risky. time. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. Uh huh. So I'm the only one who liked that idea. Wow, you really made me agree with the voice of the hero. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. Uh huh. But if you don't, I can promise that you'll regret that decision. Princess, your life is in my hand right now, okay? You have to make a choice. Let's hope. Well, let's see. Uh, let's get my blade real quick, cause you, princess, you seem very, very suspicious right now. Intent on retrieving. Where are you going? You can't just leave me here. Oh, you know all I hear right now, princess. Where? Where? Okay. Fine. Turn your back on me. But it won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be- Slip these chains? Uh -huh. She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? You dude, oh, hurry up and get your blade, man! Voice of the hero, shut the fuck, man! Hurry up and get your blade! Hurry. Yeah, let's get my blade, I got my blade. Polish pristine. the blade, both yours and the world's only possible salvation. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. okay. If we're sure about this decision, I'll support it. I suppose we have a world to save after all. Yeah, oh, I have my blade on my, uh, cursor. Cool. You slowly creep down the basement stairs. It's quiet? It's quiet. Oh, no. Don't tell me the princess. Where the princess sat only a moment ago, there's only a severed arm. Oh, no. It's flesh oh, still no. to the wall. And she is nowhere to be seen. <gasps> is it just me? Or did this room get a lot bigger? Yeah, it seemed to be a lot bigger. Uh, uh <laughs> I think we got off on the wrong foot. Do you think we can start over? Oh, you coward. Yes, I'm a fucking coward. Shut up, narrator. I hate horror games, okay? No, I don't think we can. <laughs> okay. Why don't you come closer? Where are you? I have something to show you. What do you have to show me? She lost. She lost an arm. I'm locking her down there and letting her bleed out. Is that possible? This is a dangerous play. Who's to say she'll actually succumb to her wounds? Ah, man, I can't believe I'm agreeing with the voice of the hero. She doesn't have a weapon, and she's missing an arm. You can finish this right here, right now. Oh, okay, fine. You're right. Let's finish this. Let's go stabby stabby with my knifey knifey. I don't see her. Uh, Where is she? Now, where is she? Investigate the arm. As you step towards the severed limb, you hear the pattering of feet behind you, soft against the basement floor. Oh no, she's escaping! Maybe I should have closed the door. I actually, I wouldn't want to be trapped inside with a world-ending princess. You turn to chase after the princess, but she's fast and has too much of a lead. Oh no. She slams the door behind her before you can make it to the top of the stairs. Okay, this door is made out of wood. I'm pretty sure I'm strong enough to bust this door no. down, right? Thanks for letting me out. I'd return the favor, but I think we both know that I can't trust you to let me stay free. Okay. With those parting words, the princess walks away. Her quiet footsteps eventually Oh, wow, well, that's an ending. She leaves you. Oh, oh, well, I guess I'm just Can't dead. Can't just end like this, right? As much as I prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality. Oh, wow. Well, that's actually an ending, huh? I'm sorry. You don't know how much time passes before the end. But eventually, it comes. Really? The, the ending comes? Ends, and you end with it. Oh, well, that's game over, I guess. The witch? Oh, there's chapter two! Oh! Oh. You're on a path in the woods and at the end of that path is a cabin oh are You're we just doing this sleep. again i'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu a terrible sense of deja vu no you don't have that this if he doesn't remember what happened then maybe it's best to keep it that way okay Brilliant. we need to keep our cards close to our chest and i'm not sure we can trust voice him. of the opportunist mm. you know i can hear you 
It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Now, there, you seem to have a lot of secrets to keep Did from me. Did I say I'm not sure we can trust him? <laughs> Slip of the tongue, bit of the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. I agree. All right, proceed to the cabin. This time, let's oh, end boy. this one swift. Go, she uh, will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Okay, Don't yeah. worry. You can trust us to get the job done. All right, proceed to the cabin. We're, we're doing a swift dealio. Get this over with. All right. The interior of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots, this the walls a chaotic different. weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happens to resemble a room. Uh, the floor uh. is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Okay. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Okay. What's, what's the mirror, by the way? You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. I guess the narrator doesn't what see are you the mirror. Talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Mm-hmm. So, we're gonna see ourselves. Reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you So are. I'm not a human being. Well, that's obvious by the hand. Okay. Take the blade. So take the blade from the shelf. I am ready to slay, to slay the princess. And once and for all, the save the world, world and end this video. <laughs> well, if we're grabbing a weapon, we should probably keep it hidden behind our backs. She doesn't have to know we have it. That is true. That's not actually a bad idea. Okay, enter the basement. Hello, princess. Greetings. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. Uh -huh. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, mm -hmm. only illuminating the I wonder if the same princess below. is going to be here or not. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive moor waiting to swallow you up into okay. the earth. Chop, chop. The air smells of dirt and copper. I don't care. Your voice skitters up. What this room below. smells or sees like. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. It's gonna be like the opposite, where it's like the first princess seems all innocent but secretly evil, and this one seems evil but is actually good? I don't know. Hello? I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. Ah. She must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> I don't know she about that narrator. Friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. No, I don't agree with that. We 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 slain the princess. You can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. Yeah, yeah, I There's agree. no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. Uh huh. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? I just hear the same voice talking over and over. need to stance, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. Yeah, 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 okay. Well, I'm, I'm trying to slay the princess, boss. Let's go. Thank you. You descend to the basement. Ah, this, was a, this one's a different looking princess. Below. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. Uh-huh, so it's a different and princess. And there you are, one hand tucked away behind your back, gripping that sharp, sharp blade. Oh, wow, no you're doubt. so... Uh, smart That's princess, wow. Well, how would she know that? Okay, you're, you're kind of dumb. So, we've dropped the pretenses. Sure. Good. You made a comment back in the woods about having been here before. Now she's acting like the two of you already know each other. Oh, so the narrator doesn't know. Okay. Oh, no. You've already been here, haven't you? That's I pretty sharp. That. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. It's okay. Well, you seem to be great at it. So, you really don't remember us, do you? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if you're not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. 
I'm just okay. glad we could put all this behind us. All right, let's just lay the princess, Is yeah? All, all right, knives be. out. Get ready. Okay, look. Look, I can just slay the princess. Is it just gonna end the video right off the bat if I just happen to click on that button? Without uttering a word, you charge the princess. Oh, we're charging. So much for finding an easy way out. I can't believe you're making us work. Oh, shut this. up! I'm trying to slay the princess here, okay? Better a violent fool than a plotting coward. Better for me, at least. Uh huh. Why? As you close the distance, readying your strike, the princess's chain falls from her wrist. Oh. She takes advantage of your split second of surprise. Wow, so is it going to be impossible for he slay the princess, huh? She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little a woman after my own heart, really. It's a shame we're playing opposite teams. Uh -huh. This is why you couldn't just abandon her here. Left to her own devices, she would always find a way out. Now stop her. I'm trying to slay her. If you have known I would be ready for you. Deep in your heart, you know the same things about me I know about you. We're both so very awful. Uh -huh. As you brush the silt from your eyes, the princess tackles you, flattening you against the dirt floor. Wow, so I can't slay the princess. Okay, I see. We were always going to kill each other here, weren't we? I can't uh -huh. trust you, and you can't trust me, and those doubts spin and spin and spin into hate. She buries her teeth deep into Oh, so she's just parent. eating me. Okay. Great, she's distracted. Stab her in the back. Yeah, I want to do that. In for a penny, right? Why not? As the princess ah, there you go. Home, you plunge your weapon into her unprotected back. Ha, <laughs> you bastard! Even face to face, you find a way to stab me in the back. I know you, and you're hideous, absolutely wretched. Just like maybe we are. The Listen, same. princess, so I just throw her off us, kick her in the shins. Hi. We don't have to fight so dirty. Of course, why, we why do. don't we just fight dirty, huh? Won't help us win. It takes a wretch to know a wretch, and we're all at the bottom of the barrel here. No point in protecting other ones, are we? At the bottom of the barrel. Can we just slay the princess already? Is it gonna be impossible? Sure that out. That's not the bottom of the barrel. What is? No arguments here. You're doing great. Keep playing dirty if that's what it takes. But if we win, we won't be at the bottom anymore. Oh my god, the these guys talk so higher. much, man. Hair ripped and nails Jeez, broken. I'm, so I'm not a, I'm a monster, basically, huh? In the book of honorable combat, both you and the princess have broken a dozen times over. That's nice and all, but. Are we winning? Yeah, are we winning? Nobody's winning. I thought playing dirty was supposed to give you the upper hand, but I suppose that doesn't work if you both sink to the same lows. Still, at least you're not losing. Oh, I'll take that. The princess cackles maniacally as the cracker <laughs> continues. But behind her cackle, you hear the low groan of warping wood. Uh -huh. What's going on? What's going We're on? We're establishing a newer, better packing order. No, the groaning thing. Why is the wood making noise? Who cares about the groan? It's just a sound. Things make sound. I just want to slay the princess. I should have just slain her in the very beginning. I care about the groan. Doesn't that mean something bad is happening? Uh, no. maybe. Yes, well, I'm afraid that's the sound of the basement getting smaller. Do you hear that, you pathetic wretch? Those are the roots of the wild, and they're coming to choke the breath from your lungs and squeeze the life out of you. Excuse me, what? Huh? You and the princess disengage for a brief moment, just long enough to get your bearings. Behind you, the basement door has been sealed over, thick roots barring your only exit from the dirt pit. And slowly, but very perceptibly, the roots are closing in on you both. That's right, they're coming for you. And they won't stop until there's nothing left down here but them. Okay, well, can I just... Go I'm gonna keep fighting, bitch! Let's go! More the two of you fall into a vicious brawl. The basement continues to shrink as you Hey man, if we both die here, technically I did <clears throat> manage to slay the princess. No? The roots twist around you both, binding your limbs and rendering you helpless. As your fates close in, all you can do is watch her. Is she, been, is she gonna be slain? At first, it's almost gentle. The two of you lifted delicately off the ground. But the cradle of the growing roots soon gives way to tightness. And that tightness gives way to bulging pressure as they begin to constrict. I see, we're both kind of fucked, huh? The sound of Ooh, drowned okay. out by the snaps and pops of your bones. Pain 
flooding your senses as you feel your skin deform, being shaped unnaturally by the living basement. Mm, yeah, this is a horror game, all right. Tears well up in the princess's eyes, her own bones splintering and flesh swelling with trapped blood. But still, she why is she smiling? Is it because she knows we're gonna live and see another day? I can't wait to do this again, you wretched little thing. I hate you, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. And um, uh, hmm. you can't breathe. Your vision ah, swimming yes. red. Your head pounding as everything tightens. And then you pop. Everything goes dark, and you die. Ah, uh, hey, I succeed, I guess. Yay! <laughs>